right. We have quarterback uh, Trevor Knight. Enough <laughs> questions over here on the right, Gabe. How do you sum this one up, Trevor, giving it a go, going out there on guts, and obviously coming up well well short as a team in this one? Yeah, um, you know, it, when I was cleared to play, there was never a thought in my mind that I wouldn't go out there. Um, you know, this is what I do. This is what I've done for five years, and, and I poured everything I have into this game. Um, you know, both at Oklahoma and then Kyle Lee, the awesome journey that brought me here. And uh, it's, it's truly been an honor and a privilege uh, to be a Texas A&M Aggie. And I say that from the bottom of my heart with everybody involved. Um, the university as a whole, just like I've said a couple of times, just wrapping their arms around me and welcoming me in. And then most importantly, those guys in that locker room. I've got guys in there that I'll be lifelong friends with. And, uh, you know, I hurt a little bit. I hurt for, uh, for the seniors. Um, you know, this isn't how we wanted to go out. This isn't, how anybody kind of draws it up. Um, you know, we, we had high hopes at the beginning of the season, but I, I think the culture of our team is in really good hands. Um, you know, we believe in each other, we love each other, and, and that's all I could ever ask for. Yeah, do you want to go undefeated and, and play for the national championship? Of course. Do you want to win on senior night? Of course you do. Um, but, you know, walking into that locker room and, and getting the hugs from the guys that truly mean the most to me, that's what that was what was uh, what was going to be memorable for me. Kind of when when did you know that you were cleared to go? And what did your week of practice look like this week? Um, you know, I, I tossed a little bit last week, just a couple yards, and um, and then just kind of slowly progressed and progressed and, and came out. It was a short week, so came out on Sunday and threw like ten balls within ten yards, and then um, slowly throughout the, the next three days. Um, you know, tried to work it up and, and didn't throw, you know, completely until our, our Friday practice on Wednesday and, uh, and let it loose and it felt good. And, and I felt good all day today. Um, I didn't necessarily have as much juice on the ball as I would like to, but no pain or anything like that. So was, I was able to play. It's kind of a fault that the one where you medically cleared by the doctors to play uh, in this week's game. Um, well, there wasn't anything structurally wrong. And so it was really just, uh, you know, fight through that pain, um, you know, seeing if the swelling gone down, things like that. And it was, I, I was cleared early on in the week, um, but it wasn't, you know, until later on in the week where I, where we figured out that I could sling it around and actually play. Yeah. Over here on the Two score loss. I got to get you to, to break down the end of the first half right there. How, how big a blow was that to lose that fumble right before first half? Yeah, you know, they, they scored 10 points there, I believe, in, in the second quarter, and we got none, and that was the difference right there. Um, and then they continue, you got to give them credit. They continued to move the ball down the field and, and put up points and, and have key stops when they needed to on the defensive side of the ball. I think in the second half, we kind of found our groove a little bit. Um, and if I remember correctly, we had, um, you know, one drive there at the beginning and that we got stopped on, and then, and then the last drive that I was in there, we got stopped on. But other than that, we were moving the ball pretty good. And so you just got to give them credit. You know, they kept battling and battling and battling and putting points on the board. Trevor, going into this game, we talked about the fact that I don't think anybody had scored more than two touchdowns against LSU. And you guys put 39 points on the board. You would think if, that, if you'd have said that earlier in the week, you'd say, well, I think we're going to win this game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think. You know, like I said, we had, we had a big time second half on the offensive side of the ball and, and, and played really well. And, you know, I think we had a good plan, a good plan coming in, and we missed a few things early on that may have cost us in the end. Um, but, again, you just got to give LSU credit. Their, their running back played phenomenally. He just wouldn't go down today. And, uh, um, you know, they, they came out with a big win. Was there any more cognizant effort to uh, avoid taking big hits because of your injuries or in, in the zone read? Were they giving you the look to hand it off most of the time? They were giving the look to hand it off. Uh, they didn't crash their ends all day, but uh, we did ha obviously have a little emphasis on, you know, if you in traffic, get down. We didn't have too many of those type of situations, so uh, they were they were handoff reads. Right. You know, Trevor, how, how, fresh, how frustrating has this month been for you all starting out, you know, number four at the CFP and then, you know, losing three or four? I mean, what's, what, when you take all of that into consideration, I mean, what's your feeling like right now? Yeah, you know, um, came out, we we're 6-0, and and like you said, we were number four in the polls at one point, and then here we are two and a half weeks, three weeks later, and uh, and we're, we're unranked and stuff, and so that is disappointing. Um, but, 
I don't think it's a lack of effort. I don't think it's a lack of character. I don't think it's a lack of anything. Um, we played some really good teams that came up with, with good wins. Um, you know, I wish I could put point the finger at, at you know what kind of went wrong and why we lost those games. But you know, the fact of the matter is, we just didn't play as well as we needed to back back into the season, back stretch. Trevor, you got a, over a month now to get ready for a bowl game. Just kind of, where do you think this team will be at when you guys? Uh, play that bowl game here in a little bit. I mean, is this something that you guys can put behind you and figure out what went wrong and, and be a different A&M team later on? I don't think we're going to be a different A&M team. We're the same team that we were, <laughs> you know, three, four weeks ago when we were number four in the country. Same guys, everything like that. I think we will have some motivation. Um, I know I will. I know all the seniors will. You know, it'll be our last game, and we want to go out, uh, you know, with a win. But all the other guys will be motivated as well. I think we're going to – you know, have a little time off here over the weekend for, for Thanksgiving and spend some time with family and then come back and hit it hard like we have been all year. And I'm excited to get back to work uh, with this group for, for one last go at it.